Hello everybody. So I've been playing with my 3D printer and combining it with uh, my Edison. I like my Edison. It's a nice little robot. Costs between $40 and $60 depending on how many you buy. It comes with some built-in motors. Uh, they can be used with wheels or as like pulleys. And it also has some built-in sensors. You can code it uh, to browser-based app and there's three of them you can code it via um, little icons for the littles block based coding or you can do python so i like the variability that it gives us and the wide range that it has um, the reason i decided to print this neat little um, holder is because i saw that edison had uh, on their store site uh, their own holder so my thought was why would we put it on the side wouldn't it create drag uh, that would, might make the uh, robot turn. So I went for front. But actually first I went for the back to have it drag something instead of push something. Um, also because there's actually a lip up here. It might be hard to see and I didn't want to mess with how high I had to go and um, play with that. So I actually designed for the back first and once I had that and I was playing with putting it on in different ways, I said, well, okay, now I know how big that lip is. Um, because it's actually hard to measure and also being able to measure out to where the front was see if I put if I put this thing on the back it's right up to the edge and so I know how far to make uh, the pen stick out whereas this I couldn't quite ex exactly measure because you know there's this gap in between here it's kind of rounded there's this lip up here you can probably see better here um, but anyways I finally came around to designing uh, for the front and I will show you how I did that and then obviously you just 3d print it so first I have this thing in Tinkercad in code blocks that will create um, plates blocks building blocks um, this one creates plates and rod sticks with holes in it I've got a different one that makes uh, pins you know like Legos this one is holes and it's based on just these variables uh, you know, this is the width and length of the plate. It's actually like two units and three units. The unit block is an eight by eight millimeter. Um, I've gone for a 7.5 height, and I'll tell you why in a minute here. And the whole radius is 2.51. And I'll tell you more about that um, in a minute. You got to go make the hole a little bit bigger than the pins are. And then there's all sorts of t uh, all sorts of code down below there. You know building making deleting da 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 um, so here's what it does it makes it will make a two by three let's step let's speed this up a little bit just does that I make it repeat boom 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 rounds the corners and there's my part um, I'll tell you I did that instead of a bigger part and then you export as a shape name it and it uh, shows up in your Tinkercad in your design so here like so you come here to basic shapes don't look at any of this yet I'll show you talk to that in a minute you come to basic shapes and your creations and here's a whole bunch of blocks that I've made all right so we'll get that go so that's where it shows up I have all these parts out here that, that I need already. This is what I'm going to make. Why didn't I just make the holes go all the way across in one piece? I thought maybe I could. There could be less printing involved um, because I needed to print. I needed to make this the whole thing. These members said 7.5. I made it 7.5 tall, thick, because the pins are 2.25 tall so i gotta make it at least two and a half tall right um to, you know to fit nicely um and the pins are also 4.75 in diameter so that's why that 2.51 that 2.51 came because of trial and error it makes a uh hole just bigger than five so it actually snaps on and fits really snugly um but that um, lip that we talked about is actually three millimeters. So in order to make this part stick out, it's got to be three millimeters up. 
but I also need it to be thick enough that this the diving board part, uh, the extender part, isn't too flimsy. So that when you try to pry it off the Edison, like if you grab it here to pry it up off the Edison, you don't break it. Um, so that's why I went with 7.5 because I got to be at least three up, which means I can then make this extender piece um, be 4.5 and have uh, some uh, some decent thickness to it. So that's why those those pieces are 4.5 is that's the dimensions for it. Uh, the other dimensions, uh, the um, a sharpie is 12.2 on the biggest part of it and let's just put all this information here 10.65 on the smallest part now here's the bad part um the i can't make this i did make this originally just one size the size of the largest part but it ends up because of where it's located on the front that only a little bit of the Sharpie is getting held in place because of where this ends up holding it. So what I ended up doing, and this was actually the harder part, is I made this hole partially cylindrical and partially partially conical so that it would slim down a little bit it would slim down from the 12 to uh, the 10.6 yes I made the hole a little bit smaller so we could be snug so we could get some t tension in there all right so here let's do that so here I grabbed a cone and I grabbed a hole and I made it 10.6 because I want to uh, take out that's the final size I want this to be at the top of the of the truncated cone. I made the bottom of the cone 12 because that's the size I want the hole. This purple thing is going to end up becoming a hole eventually. So I took this, um, put it over top of it, you know, put it over top of the cone, uh, aligned them, boom, boom. But then I raised, did that align? Yes, that did, okay. But then I raised it up a little bit go away um, to see if I've got a good spot is three gonna get me you know the right match so it's three am I gonna have excess cone or excess so it seems like I've got a little I'm, I'm like I'm a little too high like if I were to cut this off here, that this spot right here would be smaller than 10.6. So I need to lower you down a little bit. But I need to get to the right view. So I can lower you down a little bit. Let's go 2.5. And this, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because we're going to build, I want to build some flex into it. So, that looks pretty good. All right. And now we combine those two, and now we got a really short part, right? Well, again, that's going to be a hole. But I want that hole to be at least half of my total hole, my complete one. So, like, my complete hole is going to be let's see this big it's going to be 10 tall so i'm going to make half of the hole be 12. half of the hole be 12 and i need to be 12 diameter and five tall five thick and i need to make this five i'm just going to extend this up again the bottom of it's 12 and the top of it's about 10.6 and then I need to make it a hole. And then I need to raise it up five. And now I'm going to combine these two things. So this is the hole for the pen holder. You have to use that align tool a bunch. 
and group them. Awesome. Um, now, I don't want to make the hole yet. I'm going to get this out of the way now. Um, because, well, let me show you why. Because that hole has to go through part of this rectangle. So I'm not going to make the hole yet. All right. So we need a plate that's four and a half thick. It's 32 wide because the Edison is 64 wide. And these pieces are 16. I'm going to have one on each edge. So I need another one. Boom, boom, boom. And I need to align them. Uh, I want to center them up this way and edge them. And then I'm going to back this one off 16. Maybe. Come on. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's stuck right together. And then I will group those two. Um, some people might like sticking these like into it partially. Like if I made this instead of 32, made it 33. And then it could, this could stick a half millimeter into this. And this one could stick a half millimeter into that. And I'd still get my 64. And that's a possibility. Um, I need to put this one. I need to put this one together. I want to align them that way, align them that way. Click off, back that out. How do I don't know it's 16? Because down here on the snap grid, it's set at one millimeter. And boom, group them. So why did I make, uh, so these are seven and a half so that my plank can be uh, four and a half. And why didn't I make this also seven and a half? Because uh, I don't need to. So I could totally save some on the printing there. Uh, let's see, now let's put the plank on here. So I measured, I need to be, I want to be 16 into here. I want to be 16, that's, that's like, I could be farther. Uh, but I want to. I'm going to stick it in 16 to give us some. Um, to to make sure we got some. I don't think we really need to be that too far, but it just made it seemed logical because these things are in eights. Um, and that actually probably just goes away, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it does. Um, but that's what I was working on. Uh, I was because before I had holes all the way across, so I was making sure I was inside of it. So I had a solid piece. That's why I was doing this. So I need 16. Who am I thinking from before? I need another 14 to get to the lip. And then I'm going to go seven more because I want to hold, um, wrap up part of the hole, the holder. So that's why this is 37 long. It's four and a half thick. And it's 18 wide because, again, my hole is 15 why? So I want to get a little bit more. Um, so I just I align these. Center back. And then I can walk it out. And then join them. And I guess, yeah, now, now that this is, these are both solid, I guess I really don't need it to stick in here. 16, because that just goes away, doesn't it? Um, and now the final part, we want the hole and, or we want the holder and the hole. We're going to align those with this part, uh, center them and front them. And now you can see where they're at. Uh, but that hole, which is 12 wide. I've got 15, so I want to back it off. I want to put it in the middle. I want, I got to move it at one and a half. So I need to change that. Um, so I moved it back three, so that should put it in the middle. Um, nope, I went wrong because I don't want that all the way back there, do I? That's okay. What I need to do is I need to back this up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. 
I did a whole bunch because I was down the halves. All right, now that made more sense because now I, I'm not totally wrapping this up with uh, outside support because I want to put some flex into this. Um, so we got the hole centered and we backed this off so we can put some flex. We're going to group everything and that didn't come out well, did it? Why not? 10, 10. Well, let's make this 10.2. Let's make it a little bit taller. All right, here we go again. All right, back this up. Let's do this in ones. Back this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I need to back this one up one and a half because it's 12 and my holder is 15. One, two, three. Now we can join everything. Bam. Ta da! Now I mentioned putting some flex, which is why I've got this part. This is a hole that's going to put a little slit in there. Um, and of course, I could just set it there. It wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm going to go ahead and you know, center things up. Center it. Front edge it. And just to make sure it's there. Yeah, I made it three. Uh, it's a three millimeter wide, five deep just to be deeper than um, what everything is, what my lip is. And then I, bam. There we go. So that's going to give us some flex. This is going to give us some good support. Um, again, these are four and a half thick. So that's uh, pretty good support. And to be four and a half these had to be seven and a half to get me three up three to get past the lip there you go uh, everything's grouped export print and you're good